Hi, I am Dr. Sharjil and this 60 years old pseudophagic patient presented to me with complaints of decreased vision since surgery, watering, foreign body sensation and lot of discomfort. The eye is red as well. Now on the history he had extracapsular cataract extraction a month ago. His vision was 636. And on slit lamp when I examined his eye awesome many flaws in suturing if you look at the limbal wound it is also ragged and not in a proper line along the limbus so the anterior and posterior corneal wound lips are not opposed then look at the three interrupted sutures they have all the possible flaws that can occur in suturing all three sutures are unburied and the unburied ends are just like thorns rubbing against the palpebral conjunctiva and that was the reason of watering discomfort and foreign body sensation of this patient then if you inspect the sutures individually the medial one is the longest longer in length the middle one is the shorter in length shortest in length and the temporal one is the in between so they were not equal in length which is also an important phenomena then the next one is that the corneal bite is more as compared to the scleral bite sclera so that is also improperly the wound is closed now the temporal one the temporal suture is not only unburied but loose and that can also cause infection anytime the middle one is tighter and causing depression of the underlying cornea all stitches are also not directed towards the center of the pupil and the spacing is also not equal plus temporally one suture is deficient so lack of suture there is causing against the rule astigmatism leading to poor vision anterior chamber was quiet iol was inside too so the rest of the surgical steps were done good but look how important is the first step the proper wound construction and the last step proper suturing so take home message for the residents is that never forget to bury the sutures that's a very important step apply an extra suture but not compromise upon the proper wound closure and leave a gap now what i did as wound was still in a healing phase it was a one month old there was loose stitch as well a deficient wound closure now either i had to give lubricants topical lubricants topical steroids and antibiotics and wait for one month and then remove the stitches or had to remove those and apply new stitches so i didn't take the risk of because there was a loose stitch and there were unburied sutures so the discomfort level of the patient was very high so i went the later route and removed those flawed sutures and applied four new stitches and properly closed the wound and thank you very much